Unfortunately, ACL tears are quite common. The ACL is a very important ligament in the knee and basically prevents the knee from collapsing forward. Without an ACL, you have a tough time not only stabilizing the knee, but you will have significant issues with arthritis in the future. The problem is it doesn't heal on its own. Ever. The issue is that either if it's partially torn, most people end up going surgery because it's really still unstable. If it's just sprained, you can get lucky and you might not need to do anything, just physical therapy, or you can inject it, which is what we do here. A partial tear, some people will still go do a full reconstruction, or you can inject it. We've had several NFL players that are still playing after injecting their ACLs because you have to put it in the right spot and you have to use the right product. But for a full thickness tear, unfortunately at this time, we do have to do full reconstruction surgery. You can inject and probably should inject the entire knee surrounding the tissues after you've been medically cleared after your ACL reconstruction. Because what that's going to do is that's going to decrease the stress and weakness of some of these other tissues uh, that helps to take some stress off that ACL that was just rebuilt. Whether you do this with something like a prolotherapy, which is very weak uh, regenerative properties, to a PRP coming out of the blood, all the way to the stem cell lines, which are much more potent. These are different things that you can do for ACL tears. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment section below.